One of the biggest leaks Apex has ever seen recently hit the Twitter and Reddit verse, causing a huge stir among the player base. This leak shows us a lot of the new legends that Respawn is working on and gives us a very big hint on the direction that they want to take the game. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostess, 8 Second Gaming, and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down all of these new leaked legends and give you a brief summary of what they're supposed to do. And with all of these new legends coming to the game, you're going to need a little help hand to learn them all, and with that there's no better place than the Game Leap website. Over there we have top level coaches creating highly in-depth guides in order to make you the best Apex player that you can possibly be. We have legend guides, gun guides, VOD reviews, and so much more, the kind of stuff that you will not find anywhere else with how in-depth it is. So if you want to get better at Apex, click the link in the description, get yourself a membership, or I'll lick all of your spoons and then put them back in the drawer. But now let's start this video off by stating one thing. Although these leaks seem to be legit, they are not from a known source. The video was watermarked by a known leaker, Crow Rindo, but he was not actually the one to leak them. Someone just put his tag on it, so do keep in mind these legends are subject to change and their kits will probably be tweaked before they are released. But with that being said, let's jump into the new legends and go in order, starting with Conduit. Conduit seems to be a legend built around regenerating shields and keeping you as healthy as possible during the fight. Their abilities seem to be very strong and there isn't much footage of them in action sadly, but their passive is called Capacitance. With this, Conduit regenerates shields over time, and they gain extra regen for every ally nearby. Also having friendly banners provides a bonus to help you out while they are down a team member. This was interesting to me at first sight, but then I remembered that Watson already has passive shield regen, so will we see Watson lose hers, or maybe we'll just have two legends in the game that can regen shield without needing cells. Next Next up though is their tactical called Arc Flash. This is where you can target an ally and heal their shields at the cost of your own. This would be totally amazing after reviving someone, it's basically a budget gold backpack and will help them not get instantly downed right after. And their ultimate alternating current is an Arc Cluster Bomb that damages the shields of people near the blast and heals conduit for the damage done. Pretty much a shield siphon ability. So this seems like it does only hurt shields, so probably cracked enemies are going to be safe, but it's a cluster bomb so it kinda is like if Crypto EMP and Fuse Knuckle Cluster had a baby. This does seem very strong and I am excited to see how this full kit does come into the game. This legend seems like they are supposed to be a support legend so it would add another one into the game. Currently the only ones we have are Loba and Lifeline so it would be nice to see another one. Moving on though we have Scryer. This is a recon legend that is going to have traps and a way to block off sights and play with enemies vision. Starting off with their passive called Sp Spectator. This allows you to optic haunt and spectate your killer. I'm not quite sure what optic haunt means, but I'm going to assume it means you'll be able to mess up their vision. And as for spectating them, I really hope it isn't full on spectating because the callouts and information you'd be able to give to your team would be super broken, but there isn't any footage so we don't really know. Next up though, his tactical optic haunt is a trap that reveals the target's vision. I'm going to be real here, I have no idea what this means. Does it mean that when they see the trap it alerts you, or you get to see a cone on your minimap of their vision? I don't know, we don't have any footage, so we're gonna have to wait and see more as they really come out. But something we do have a little bit of footage on is their ultimate, so let's talk about Shadow Wall. And it's exactly what it sounds like, this is where they put up a wall of shadows, blocking off enemy sightlines kinda like a Bangalore smoke. Though with this I'm really hoping, because it's a shadow and the legend is built around playing with sightlines, will the wall block scans and be the the anti-bloodhound character. This wall does kind of look like something straight out of Valorant, so maybe we will see some crazy plays to be made with it. But next up we have Newcastle. Now I did a full video already on the channel here breaking down Newcastle and all of his leaked abilities. So if you're interested in him, go check that one out after this. But his ability is basically like a combat medic. He has a revive shield, a big wall that he can jump and place down, and a small shield that he can spin when needed. But like I said, there's a full video on him already, so I don't want to bore everyone everybody with his abilities twice. So let's move right on into the next legend, Uplink. This is another defensive type legend that helps their team survive a lot of stuff. Their passive is called Network Communication. With this you gain 25% of recovery effects used in the signal range, and once again there isn't a lot of information on this. But if I were to guess, something like Lifeline's drone or Watson's generator would be 25% faster on you. I am spitballing here, but that's my best guess. So now their tactical 
tentacle is called Shield Satellite. This is a satellite that follows allies around, regening their shields, and even is able to revive. This kind of sounds like a better Doc drone, so sorry Lifeline mains, possibly? But the real powerhouse ability of this legend seems to be their ultimate immortality relay beacon. This is a deployable beacon that prevents allies in the signal range from being downed. I don't even know what to say to that, other than nerf please? It isn't even the game and I hate it. No thank you, please, no. The respawn, no, I'm begging. This legend seems very strong in terms of staying alive and will probably draw fights out a lot, so fingers crossed their kit does see some changes before they come into the game. But now, next legend is called Vantage. This is a recon legend that really seems to have a hugely offensive side as well. As at first look, I think this legend is what we now know as Hawk and is supposed to be coming in Season 14. Her passive is called Sniper Kit and we don't have a ton of information on this, but it looks like this allows her to see a lot of extra information when ADSing. Her ability says that she will be able to see the legend name, what armor they have, and the team size so you can tell if they are ratting or not, plus you'll also know how far away they are. This seems really cool and I want it now, I love recon legends, I am a bloodhound main. But her tactical is also something that I love, it's called Echo Launch. Echo is a bird that flies around, so when you use this ability you are able to launch towards that winged companion. This will be a great tool to reposition in fights or get out of something when it goes south. This probably works the same way as Loba's bracelet does. I absolutely love reposition tools, so I really like the sound of this one. But now, her ultimate is called Mark to Kill. This is where she summons a rifle to scan enemies. Yay, another scan legend, I know. But it also boosts damage for Vantage and her squad against marked targets. With them, you deal 15% more damage to said person. With this one, I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. I want to wait and see a bit more information come out before, so stay tuned for that. And the next legend is called called Catalyst. This one by far is the most unique in the bunch and they seem pretty cool. Their whole kit is designed around controlling a substance called Ferrofluid. Their passive plays into the other abilities because this makes the structures they create stronger when you're near them and able to take more damage. Not a lot to talk about for this one so let's dive into the tactical. This is called Ferro Shot and it makes a ramp of hard Ferrofluid on the surface that it hits. You can extend this ramp with more shots and even create platforms with it. Though it does have a limit of 3 shots. So this could possibly make for some funny bait plays or new interesting ways of ratting. And their ultimate is called Iron Tower. Seems pretty much like a horizon gravity lift. You basically build a tower under you and it raises you up into the air as it grows. It looks exactly like Horizon's tactical that others can't use. I don't know what else I can say because everyone knows how Horizon's tactical is used, so it will be just like that. With that being said though, let's jump into the next legend, Phantom. This is supposedly a support legend, but their kit seems mostly based around movement. Their passive is called double jump and like Octane's jump pad you can double jump in the air, but with this one you can do it anywhere, off any jump, so you can offer a lot more potential in climbing walls or getting to places that are harder to reach. And their tactical is called hook shot. It's a hook that allows them to hang onto walls for a short period of time. From the footage shown it does kind of look like Pathfinder's grapple, but I don't think you'll be able to swing or get momentum off of it like Pathfinder can. This just kind of seems like a good way to take off angles in fights or surprise your enemies over over weird positions. But their ultimate is what seems really cool about this legend, it's called Void Grenade. This ability is a grenade that sends anyone hit into the void. For people that don't know what that is, the void is where Wraith goes when she uses her phase. This will make everyone invulnerable and not able to use weapons. This will really disrupt fights and make for insane team rotations in endgame circles. Imagine a full team Wraith phasing at you. Kinda terrifying with the options that this might open up. But now, Mirage has been the class clown for way too long, so this next legend Jester seems to be trying to take that crown away from him. This legend is built around playing tricks and causing mayhem in the heat of battle. His passive allows him to turn any grenade into a proximity mine that can stick to surfaces. I wonder if there will be a timer when they go off or some sort of indication that it's there, cause a no warning arc star would kind of suck. But now his tactical is called Spectre Drop. This is where he calls in a crate that has three spectres in it to guard an area. There isn't any footage of the spectres, but from inferring they will probably be a combat unit that will sit in an area and shoot any enemies that are inside their proximity. There is a slight delay on calling it in, so they may have to stall out a fight to use this or it probably will just be really good for holding buildings or areas towards the end of a game. But his ultimate is Cloak Field. This is a short lived cloaking device that hides all players in a short area. This cloak lasts for 6 seconds after leaving the area. This just looks like old Mirage Alt where he went invisible, but it does say all players so this will probably affect any enemies too, so you might not want to 
want to use it in battle. His kit seems a bit interesting and has a ton of tricks, so I am excited to see how this comes into the game. But now the last legend is called Caliber. This one's all about that shooty shooty bang bang playstyle. His passive is called Weapon Sling, allowing you to store a third weapon. It's pretty self-explanatory, so not much to talk about here. So let's move on to the Tactical Suppressor Turret. This is a deployable turret that copies your active weapon. Two words for this, Spitfire Turret. From the footage, though, it doesn't seem like it does the same damage as the weapon you are using, so we will have to wait for a little bit more information on just exactly how this will work. But it doesn't stop there. Caliber's ultimate is called Auto Loader. You deploy a box that feeds ammo directly into nearby players' current weapons. And all I can think about this is couple this with Rampart sat behind her walls and charge up rampages. You would be able to just mow down entire lobbies. This legend just seems like a perfect fit for people who love LMGs and shooting everything that moves. But overall, from the leaked information we got from these legends, there is a decent mix of new ideas and kind of old recycle ones that were taken away from legends in order to rework them. I personally am most excited for Vantage, I still think it's the new legend Hawk, so I am pumped to see how they come into the game. But what about you guys? Who are you most excited for? Drop a comment down below, let us know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did and you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.